don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Hey, guys. Just finished watching Arrow Season 5, Episode 22, Missing. Whoa. What an episode. Um, <laughs> it, w it was such a cool episode. I mean, it was disappointing not seeing um, seeing Laurel back. I mean, seeing Katie Cassidy back in this episode. And then not seeing, um, getting a fight between um, Black, S Black Siren and uh, Dinah Drake. Um, seeing the two of them. Uh, not fight out and fight it out and see their screams fight it out. I think that would be really cool to see that and see a whole episode uh, see a whole them um, fighting Maybe open it up with uh, black siren taking out uh, You know um, Donna Drake and seeing them use their their scream against each other I think it would have been really cool to see that so hopefully we'll get to see that in in the last episode next week um but it's just like they can't have a really long episode of a long fight scene just between the two where the two of them are just going at it. And I feel like you're not going to do that in the last episode because there's so much they got to do in the last episode. And all the two teams has a fight. He has to convince Slade Wilson to do and he has to find a way to do it so that so that Slade Wilson could doesn't get loose and then I try to attack him too. I mean, what's stopping Slade Wilson from just joining uh, Adrian Chase to just helping uh, kill Oliver? You know, turning... Uh, I mean... So it's going to be interesting to see what he has to offer um, Slade Wilson, uh, Deathstroke, to, to to keep him on his side. Um, is it just the whole idea? I mean, it, it'd be silly if they just go with the whole, you know, oh, I'm only I get to kill a uh, Green Arrow type thing, or Oliver Queen. Um, that would be quite cheesy if they went with that route. Um, but I think he, I feel like Oliver has a way of doing it. He's not going to let, uh, you know, Slade Wilson out just for and for nothing or anything like that. So it's going to be fun to see where things go with this and how things play along. Um, it was kind of cool seeing, uh, getting to another point now, seeing uh, Sarah Lance, um, Sarah Lance, um, seeing Captain Lance, uh, Quentin Lance, uh, meeting uh, Black Siren for the first time and, f and meeting this version of Laurel and stuff. Um, and then finding out that it's not his and so it's not his version of Laurel. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how that goes down and how maybe if I could see maybe him, maybe Dinah and her and them are tiring a fight and stuff. And once they're both super tired from, you know, using their screams at each other and they're just destroying trees, which would be really cool, especially if it's just the scene with the two of them on the island and trees are just getting destroyed everywhere. Kind of like, um, I remember was it an episode in Smallville when Superman um, and Zod were fighting. They were just destroying trees and flying everywhere and Superman and Supergirl were fighting it one episode um, and they just kind of destroying trees and stuff so I'd love to see something like that with the two of them just go and just and then all of a sudden there's just like a you know the um, the, uh, the the trees are just all destroyed and they're just in an open and turn it to an open field kind of like uh, in the Avengers when Thor and uh, when, when uh, Thor hits you know when Captain America Thor hits Captain America's shield and it just you know, destroys all the trees around them, something like that. I think that could be really cool, seeing the two screams hit one another and just kind of go up like crazy and stuff. So that's going to be fun to see that. Um, and then I could see maybe Captain Lads coming in and just taking her out or something. That's going to be fun to see that. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely going to be fun to see where things go and see where... Uh, where they find out who is holding up if everyone's on the island where is Oliver's son um, I forget his name and stuff but I mean where's Oliver's son and then also if Oliver's son is uh, you know captive what about Oliver's son's mother and stuff where is she is she still around how is she uh, doing with this how, what is she doing I mean she must be frantic that you know her son is, is gone and stuff like that and uh, is she also captive too I mean it would make sense to keep her captive uh, there is some sort of a connection there um, and make at least making her It'd be some sort of torture to him, even if they didn't kill uh, Oliver's son's mother uh, by, by making her watch her son die, uh, you know, as they torture her son, and then leaving her alive with, like that, with that. I think that would be a way, even if Oliver doesn't feel anything for her, um, I mean, he still cares about her somewhat, uh, but not, not, you know, he doesn't care for her as much. She might not be... Uh, she doesn't care enough about her for them to be interested in, for Chase to be interested in her. Uh, but torturing her like that would be a good way just to add something to her. So I'd like to see if she's going to be in next week's episode. Um, or at least something to say where her mother is and stuff like that at the end of the episode. Instead of just kind of maybe hit her, get you know, maybe at the end of the episode... Um, his son get, just get returning to her and that's it without just oh there you are I didn't find you and it, like something about it because I feel like she would be um, involved I mean, she'd be looking she would I'm mean, where did he yes he got her uh, we saw a few episodes ago where he picked him up picked up Oliver's son um, after the school bus but she's still like looking for him or something like that having it you know put it out there and stuff like that she'd be realizing that things are 
going uh, down. It should, you know, first person it should go to would be Oliver Queen when her son's dead, right? Her son's gone, uh, missing. So hopefully they're going to touch on that, and then it's definitely going to be fun to see the the whole fight, uh, big fight happening on Lian Yu and stuff. That'll be quite interesting to see, and maybe see if Dolph Lundgren's character returns in the it comes just comes in the the present and stuff. Because I feel like there's I don't know what's, what they're doing with the, the flashbacks, but it better end very soon. And I really don't want it to end with Dolph Lindgren's character getting killed off. I'd like to see, uh, I mean, he did kind of got killed last time and then he came back. So I don't know. I'd like to see them leaving open so that Dolph Lindgren could come into the show uh, in modern time. I think that could be really cool to see that. So it's going to be fun uh, if they play with that. And it's also going to be interesting to see how they set up um, Black Siren for season six. And it's just supposed to uh, premiere for... Um, it's just supposed to become a new uh, part of the team. Or not part of the team, but the season regular for season six. So that's going to be fun to have Katie Cassidy back and see how they set that up in the next episode. So definitely things are getting wrapping up. And I definitely like the way other things are going. It looks like fun. Uh, I just hope they do it the right way. Things like that. So let me know what you think, guys, about this episode of Arrow Season 5, Episode 22, uh, Missing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.